Okay, so recently GTA 5 was updated, which meant again uh, Script 2 V did not work. Now, it only took Alexander Blade roughly 24 hours, I think it was pretty much a day after anyway, to re upload a fixed version or an updated version that works with the latest GTA 5 uh, PC update. So, I get a lot of questions, people saying they don't know how to install it or uh, issues around updating it or fixing the fatal error uh, crash. So I'm just going to go through sort of again how we would update um, our script to 5 inside of GTA 5. So here I've got script to downloaded as a zip, this is the latest one, so in the website and description Okay, you can see 29th of January 2016, we are 29th of January 2016. Um, so the latest version, I'm just going to refresh the page. Yep, still version 1.0.617.1. Okay, so hit the download button. I've got it here as a zip, I've unzipped it here. There's a folder, so I'm going to open up that one. Okay, I'm just going to set it to this side of the screen. And then I want, um, let's go back to my desktop. Uh, I want my GTA Mods folder on this side of the screen here. So um, again there's a readme it says uh, how to uh, install it but obviously people are having issues so if we look inside the updated versions we see d input 8 native trainer.asi and script 2 vdll again into our G uh, uh, sorry into our GTA 5 installation folder um, and here you can see I've got dinput 8dll Let's find the native trainer. Um, I think I might have a different trainer in at the moment. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I've got the enhanced native trainer ASI. Uh, and then we need the script to v.dll. So script to v.dll. Right. Easily, uh, easily enough, we can see the difference here already. This was 688 kilobytes. The new one is 774 kilobytes. So all I'm going to do is. Uh, drag this into the folder, I want to copy it into there and I wanted to replace the file in the destination. Simple enough, so we can see here 774 kilobytes, 774 kilobytes, so it's an updated version. Uh, next we have the dinput8.dll, let's see if there's a size difference here, 128, 128, so there isn't. But again I'm going to copy it in because this is an updated version, replace the file, simple enough. Now you would do the same with your native trainer again just simply drag and drop it in and replace it however I want to keep my uh, enhanced native trainer installed. So now I've updated that that is my GTA 5 script 2 v updated with the latest version of GTA 5 so in theory the next time I run this it should work however there's one more thing you need to do if you have my GTA mods folder if you have um, Open IV installed, okay. You need to run it before you start up the uh, well, well, not necessarily before, but if there's any issues caused uh, before doing this, then obviously you need to close down Grand Theft Auto, completely close it all down, and run Open IV. So 2.7, I'm running here, it's searching for the encryption key. It may take a while to do this because it's a new version of Grand Theft Auto 5. A lot of the uh, encryption keys and the hashes get re um, get redone, so it has to refind it again. So here, um, we go back into edit mode. So click the edit mode at the top, and it says here you have outdated version of update.rpf in your mods folder. Copy new version to mods folder. You need to click this. The, the all changes you made in mods update. Uh, archive will be lost. Do you want to continue? Now, unfortunately, I've made some modifications to my update. So, D DLC packs patch. .mp. So, there's something in here that I've updated. Um, uh, vehicle, most likely, because they're the only things I've been doing so far. Um, that is going to get replaced. Unfortunately, uh, if you want these to work, you're going to have to replace that and update it with the the new file. And again, if there's any mods in there that you've uh, you you lose, simple enough, install them as you would in the first place. Okay, same way you did it before, install it. So now, back out of edit mode. Okay, I can close down um, Open IV. 
and let's just uh, open GTA 5 here just to see if the game starts to load properly. So here I can see it's already started to load. I'm just going to give it a little bit longer just to make sure everything's fully working. Um, and here we can see the game's loaded, loading up fine. So that's fixed the um, errors you had with the fatal crash, whatever. Um, and we've updated the update file folders and the RPFs inside of OpenIV. So uh, thanks for watching and I, I hope this helped.